it is Sheffield United 1, Manchester United 2, Manchester United chefing up Sheffield United on a Saturday under the floodlights, collecting three points, you know, back-to-back -back wins in the Premier League, you know, an away victory as well. You know, all the positive things I've had to say, you know, the three points was magnificent. But guys, oh guys, 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 the first 45 minutes, we was absolutely piss poor, you know. 2-1 we won, but we were piss poor in the first 45 minutes. We let Sheffield United dominate possession against us. We sat back against bottom of the league table. Bottom of the league, Sheffield United away, dominating us. We sat back against them. We couldn't do anything. We are toothless. We have a toothless attack. Toothless midfield. Because we could not be in them comfortably more than just 2-1. But oh no, oh no, Manchester United made it difficult for us. You know, the performance. Oh, I'm not really impressed, guys. As much as we've got the three points and I'm happy about that. I am not impressed with Manchester United philosophy, the style of football, retaining possession and all that kind of stuff. Because we... Suck! We suck at that. That is not in our fault. Hey, no, it's not even within our vocabulary to keep the ball. We don't understand what that means. We're like, que passa? Or, tu dis quoi? Tu dis quoi? Ça c'est quoi? Ça c'est quoi? Or, sorry, I don't understand. We are, we don't understand how to keep the ball when we have players like Bruno Fernandez as well. Holy gosh, man! Oh my God, guys! Do you know what? Apart from that, we can just take that three points and just keep it moving because we've got Manchester City six points behind top of the table uh, Manchester City we've got Tottenham to play as well so it doesn't look too bad on the league table right now and imagine that guys if he was to beat Man City we will only be three points behind them so you know we can always catch catch up there were opportunities there but let me talk to you guys about today's game because the first 45 minutes guys as I was saying before oh a horrible start for Manchester United, guys. It was so horrible. It hurt the eye. And I keep telling you guys before, I wear glasses. I actually pay to see Manchester United play football. I pay to be able to see because without this, I can't see shit. You know, it's standard definition for me, you know, or a little bit of blurriness when I watch Manchester United football without these glasses. But with these glasses, it turns into high definition. But I want to see 4K football for Manchester United because they cannot give us 4K champagne football. We are asking for champagne football. And we wasn't given champagne football. We was given, you know, Lambruni football, bruv. Where we was under the cush defending. Horrible start against Sheffield United, you know. And I didn't even see my team play until after the 25th minute, guys. That's when we actually saw our team attempt to take a shot, do something, you know. <sighs> but that's when the goal came, you know, in the first, 40, first 45 minutes. Scott McTominay, the guy of the hour, you know, because he had one game today. Because he scored that first goal. And that first goal itself, the lovely control chess from the air and then volleying it in rifling it in as well the volley was good making it one nil for manchester united he was hot streak because he's been scoring back to back goals for manchester united two in the last game before the international break and then one today but fast forward six minutes into the game as always manchester united unable to keep a lead and you know what it was scott mctominay who conceded that penalty that penalty of a handball but let's Rewind a couple of seconds later before that took place because you have to highlight Bruno Fernandes. Lazy passing. Give a stupid pass. Whereas he could just kept the ball, but he just hoofed it as always. Hollywood hoofed it past the ball where there was no one. Who the hell was he looking for? And from that, giving the ball away, that invited pressure. Sheffield United converting that opportunity into a penalty all because of Bruno Fernandes. That guy is an absolute fraud, guys. If you guys think he's top quality. On the ball, he ain't all that. But the GA is magnificent. But, you know, it is what it is, man. He's one of our best players, isn't it? He's the best out of all those bunch of turds. So, he gives the ball away and they con we concede a penalty. And, of course, we've got um, Sheffield United, McBurney scoring that penalty. And it is what it is. 
It was a penalty they scored. It was 1-1 at half time. I'm there thinking, we need to do better in the second half. We cannot allow them to come back at us and try and chef us up. No. We need to do the chefing. And we did the chefing in the second half because Manchester United came out slightly better. Slightly better in the second half. Fighting as well. Winning the balls in certain like, vital positions. Maguire himself and Johnny Evan magnificent in the back as well. Maguire was winning his jewels, aerial jewels, every single one of them. He was like, mm, 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 mm. doing it all. You know, Evans as well. I don't know, man. I think he's one of our best defenders. Truly he is. Lindelof as well in the second half at the back, playing left back, right back. He done well. But yes, back to that goal. The goal that came from our right back, Diego Dalo. Wonderful bazooka strike from him to make it 2-1 for Manchester United against Sheffield United. You know, a beautiful strike. Oh, you got to love a goal like that. Oh, it made me scream out my soul. I was like, well done, Dalo. I was like, ah, oh, too much for me. Guys, I am not going to lie to you. But Diego Dalo with a wonderful strike making it 2-1 for Manchester United. And then Manchester United holding it down. And you know what? Like I said, when I said toothless, we could have made it 3-1. Gonacho opened up his body, you know, especially with a counter-attack. But no, we failed to score from there. And this is what I mean by them. These guys cannot take these opportunities in against the small teams because this, this is where you get your goals from, the small teams, you know. That's where you start tallying up your goals. Mr. GA, Bruno Fernandes, this is where you get your goals. Mr. GA, Marcus Rashford, this is where you get your goals. But you failed to do that, guys. But Manchester United... Full time, two one, getting those three points. I'm absolutely delighted. You know, talk about the players today. Scott McTominay had a good game, and and then from scoring and then conceding the penalty. You know, it's a bit of a mixed feeling right now. Bruno Fernandez, he was poor. He was poor throughout the whole entire game. I don't care what you say. It's horrible, horrible decision making. Just poor, piss poor. Hoyland fighting, but had his opportunity as well. You know, got into dangerous dangerous areas, but he didn't get the goal today. Lindelof was magnificent. Maguire was very good. Amrabat was decent. Evans was very good as well. Diego Dallo did his thing and scored that winning strike. I cannot, I can't say anything about that, guys. I can't fault that guy. He saved our ass. You know what I mean? Man in the match today, guys, has to go to, in my opinion, Victor Lindelof. I know Sky Sports gave it to Harry Maguire, but I'm giving it to Victor Lindelof. Donkey of the match today has to go to Bruno Fernandes and Mark Rashford because they were trash. They were poor. They, you know, I just can't. There's nothing more I can say, guys. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. But this has been your match reaction, guys. Let me know who your man of the match is as well in the comments. And let me know who your donkey of the match is in the comments as well. And tune in tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch-up. The full reaction of this game with the man them, you know. Is what it is. And we're back live again for Champions League night next week and on the manchester derby and your and your latest manchester united news on monday as well guys it is what it is what a poor night Ugh. but anyway guys as always remember to keep it red united i mean remember to keep it united remember to keep it red united your boy is out and see you tomorrow night peace